so Monday, um, it was, it was nerve wracking. It was really nerve wracking. And, um, my tea time on Monday was, um, I believe it was nine. Oh, six. You're like one of the later ones the first yeah. day, right? You went yeah. late and then early. Yeah. Yeah. Not that we were looking at your scores or anything. We weren't watching hole by hole. Literally, <laughs> watching it it's literally fine. Nine oh six, and then uh, day <laughs> yeah. two was seven thirty six. Mm-hmm. No, that's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, that's a lie. It was it was nine oh six, and then seven fifty two. Um, so uh, first day went great. Um, I I started kind of average, and then. Um, kind of went on a heater and then you know the back nine kind of got me and so i shot when two you, over when you went on your when you went on your first heater i'm working right and i get yeah. this text from tj and he goes have you seen what our boy's doing <laughs> <laughs> i said what and he sends me and i was like oh, what the <laughs> fuck i'm like dude, ricky's on a bad <laughs> dude i was like i'm gonna fucking win this tournament so um okay sorry so i gotta go back to practice round real real quick First practice round on Saturday. First, um, first hole, I birdie, right. Second hole, short or par five, like one of the shorter par fives ever ever played because it's from uh, no pun intended. Yardages, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, and so I hit a good drive. And then I hit a three wood on the green, and I make the putt for eagle. My first ever fucking eagle. <laughs> So nice. after two holes I of the course, I walked right back to the fucking town. Two, I'm done. two holes of a course that I've never played on three under. I look at my dad and I go, "If I don't win this fucking tournament this week, I'm gonna <laughs> so so obviously, like it, it kind of it didn't go downhill, but I ended up bogeying a few or whatever, and I think I shot um, like three or four over on the practice round. But dude, I like I was like I feel Still fucking so good, dude. I was like, birdie the first hole, eagle. I've never eagled in my life. That was my first ever eagle. And so I'm three under after two holes. So that was was a really good confidence boost. That was the uh, first practice round. But going back to Monday, I keep hopping. I apologize. But um, so Monday went well. um, And then I was, I think I was in like 11th place after Monday. And, um, so going into Tuesday, I knew like I had a chance to make the cut. Um, Mm -hmm. and and I was in third place for short stature. So I, I really, I wasn't trying to think about it too much, but it's hard not to. Right. So, um, I, I knew that either way, if I play good, I'm either going to have a chance to secure second or, um, uh, get top 20 for men. So I came out and I ended up shooting one over on Tuesday, so felt really good about that. Um, I was, I, I was doing pretty, pretty good, and um, so I was pretty pumped about that. Made the cut. Yeah, I remember then, Tuesday was like overall scores were higher. Like mm-hmm. there was like only a couple people under par that day. Yeah, so exactly. Like, the the I feel like everyone kind of like r- fell back a little bit, and you kind of stayed right up there. Yeah. Yeah, on, and, uh, on day and, two. and if you look back at the scores, that's exactly it. Because a lot of people around me had a a red number, which is under par, right? A lot of people mm-hmm. around me in the leaderboard had that. But me, I'm like, I had no spectacular numbers, right? But I just, I stayed consistent mm-hmm. with 74, 73, and yeah, yeah, yeah. 74. So um I was super pumped to just kind of keep my head above the water there and give me a chance on Wednesday and made the cut both top 20 and um, the top, I, I ended up securing second for um, short stature. And then so going into Wednesday, I was pretty pumped just to have made it. And um, yeah, and it was just it was pretty, pretty awesome. And, you know, you get up to the tee on Wednesday and and for the past two days, or sorry, for the past four days, you've had your name announced every time you're on the tee, right? Like, first tee, you know, now on the tee from Syracuse, New York, Ricky Riley. Like, never gets old. Never gets old. And yeah. you're just praying to yourself, if, if I hit one good drive all day today, please let it be this one, right? Let it be the first, yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of people. Like, 
surprisingly. Yeah. There, there were a lot of people, and Newton, Kansas really showed out because um, the people, it, whether they were volunteers, whether they were, you know, people, members of the course, um, you know, just civilians of Newton, right, um, whatever, Mm-hmm. They were there and they were supportive. And so I had some just random people following me and, and that was sick. And they were That's so supportive, sick. like yeah. so supportive. Right. And, and if you hit a good shot or you had a good hole, you know, they'd come up to you and, uh, uh, you know, they'd walk by you as you're kind of grabbing something from the, for the tea or whatever. And, um, Hey, great hole. Keep it up. Keep it up. You know? And it's like, like, You're fucking Dustin Johnson, dude. Dude, it's like, how, you know, it's like, thank you. And, you know, and, you know and, and the pros would come. You would, like, you would too. You'd yeah. be like, thank you so much. I'm like, that means a lot. You mean it. So um, it, it was so cool. And it was kind of like, you kind of want to act like you're a hardo, right? And kind of be like, <laughs> you know, just give, right. give them a little wave. But me, I'm like. No photos, please. Yeah, I don't want I'm like, uh, I'm like, thank you, thank you, and I'm like, focus. <laughs> so, um, so really, dude, like Newton um, was such a good community, and um, you know, it's it was it was pretty sick to have people watching. And then on the third day, obviously, you know, I I really was I, I had a great start on the third day. Um, and I think I was two under after four holes, and and you were. That's when I texted Gary, and I was like, "He might win this." He's fucking like, "Dude, thing. he's like, <laughs> he's hot. He's only like two or three back. Like, yeah, he's fucking got a shot." I was I was feeling really good on Wednesday, and then um, just kind of I think finally, um, like the fatigue might have got me, you know. And, sure. And, I mean, yeah. Jesus. I know, and I was I was really frustrated with myself because. You know, you made it this far, and you just have, I don't know, what is that, like 13 holes left, right? And you're like, mm-hmm. please, just like, if you if you only had another good 13 holes for the rest of the summer, that's fine. Just please. I, I do have a quick question. Yeah. Did they make you Did they make you guys walk, or did you have carts? We had carts. We had carts. Okay. So, um. Because that's going to be fucked up if they're like, having, like, you know, amputees, like, oh, you got to For sure. Start walking You'd be forward. surprised how many amputees walk. Oh I, yeah, I, I would believe it. Yeah, it's it, yeah, and but I see what you're saying, right? Um, and you know, some people, I, I honestly, I I get fatigued, um, especially for five days. If I had to walk eighteen holes, I'd, Boy, uh, yeah, I'd, be, yeah. I'd be toast, right? So, um, mm-hmm. it, it was you know, it was different to have that many carts on the, you know, because that's one cart per player. Sometimes when you have a four right. some that's a lot of cards on the course right versus usually only letting two per group so um plus i saw they had like special something they didn't do in pinehurst but i saw in one of those interviews they had different mats for the seated players to like get in and out of the bunkers a whole lot easier yeah so in the past so i remember that being like a big thing the rules and just the um, the rules were there were some bunkers that were unplayable due to um getting in and out being unsafe for the seated players so yeah. if they hit it in there, they would get free relief, no closer to a hole, which is mm-hmm. totally fair. I mean, these guys are playing from being, you know, strapped in a seat, right? Like they they had yeah. it hard no enough, shit. right? So um, it, that's cool how they do that. That's that's actually I didn't even think. But there's other times that they actually are in the bunker, yeah. like in the yeah. the whole cart, yeah, and like still hitting these little flop if, shots. If the spinners, bunker is not it's... proven to be a has or a danger, you know. They they are expected yeah. to get in there and hit. No shit. I mean, these carts wow. are very well made, and they're made perfectly for this reason. And I played with um, a guy named Max Togusala. Um, and oh yeah, he won, the final he, day, right? he won seated last year, and he won seated this year. Um, heck of a guy. I, I you know. I think he's close to my age, but just he, he's such a grinder, dude. Like he's got a, you know, he he got in a, what did he say? I think it was a skiing skiing accident, right? So guy immediately finds a way to turn his life around and and get you know involved in this, and you know he, he, the thing sets him up. Dude, he, 
fucking headset of mine. Headset of mine. It was, yeah. it was the only person all week that outdrove me consistently. And and I say that because the people who I played with um, on the other days who were big hitters, they'd play from the blue. I played from the whites, right? So I had that mm-hmm. bigger advantage. So I'd get outdrove once in a while. But usually I was the far guy. So Max, like, he hit the ball very far. Very far. He was playing from a tier two more forward than me. But, I mean, sitting, dude, like, that's so impressive. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of scrambling right now and talking about everything. But well, let's get back to the end of your round. Because, like, I was, your round that final day, like, it got <clears throat> – you were off to a hot start, mm-hmm. and then you got – it got rough, yeah. but you really bounced back you and bounced then back. pulled it back into check and, and ended up posting that two over. So. Yeah, so it, it was absolutely a grind. It was the most painful two over I had shot all week, um, mm-hmm. you know, and it, it was frustrating because it was like I had shot it already. I wanted a new number. You know, I shot two over, yeah. then I shot one over. So, you know, you see the trend kind of going lower a little bit in scores, and then I have that start. And it's like, you're just waving the treat in front of the dog, right? Like, it's yeah. there. Like, I just, I wanted it so bad. And, um, and you know, obviously I knew I was competing for, you know, secured second place because um, Brendan Lawler had taken off in short stature. Yeah. And I'll talk about him in a little bit. Um, but, you know, so I, I wanted second place. So it, the day meant a lot to me. I had made the cut, but today or Wednesday still meant a lot. So, you know, I was grinding, and, and when I started going downhill, it, it really, it was just, it was one of those things where I'm like, okay, all right, let's get back, let's get back. And then another wave would hit me, right? And it just felt like you just couldn't get a break. You know, like, it, it, I'm, I'm telling myself I'm okay. It's not like I'm having a mental breakdown out there on the course. But mm-hmm, some yeah. things, the, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. And finally, mm-hmm. I think, what was it, like six. 15 or 16, I think it was 15, um, I, I, I parred it, and I was like, okay, that's good. Like, let's build off this. And 16 is a short par 5, so hit a good drive, hit a 3-wood to the green, 2-putted for birdie. I'm like, beautiful. Let's, let's keep this going. 17 is a short par 3. It's like 120 yards, right? So I hit a nine iron, almost put it in, in front of a bunch of people. Like, dude, oh, when I God. tell you, it was the most people I had hit a shot in front of all week or, week or whatever. And yeah. and I hit it, dude, and I'm like, oh, shit. So it was a nine, <laughs> and I clubbed up. I had clubbed up for this exact reason. I can, and, I can and totally see you hit Mark, that and just going, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark, mine and my dad's words club up because of the hill behind it and and bring and zip it back it's yeah, exactly yeah. what happened i hit it exactly how i wanted to zips back goes right past the hole for oh. a two foot tap in for birdie nice so i'm like two birdies in a row let's go right so Eight cube text from TJ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, uh oh, brother. <laughs> he's like, oh boy, here we go. Yeah. And so I'm coming into 18 with like a full head of steam, like good, good head of steam, right? And, and I'm feeling good. I'm like, dude, this has been an awesome week. Let's just finish this with a par, and I'll be fucking thrilled. Right? What a fucking mentality. That's dude, so sick. Like I, I didn't know where I was at, right? Because I knew, like, um, I thought I was like four over. Really, like realistically, I, I thought I was four yeah, yeah, over. Yeah, just in your head. Exactly, because I wasn't sure. trying to focus on it, but obviously you do quick math or whatever. So I'm like, just get out of here with a par, and you got all these people on 18 screen watching you. Don't stress, right? Just just get it done. And so 18 is like a dead straight par four, um, 370 or something, so not long at all. So I hit a good drive, and then, like, Got all these people watching, and earlier in the week, I scalded a uh, fifty degree right into the people um, on eighteen screen, <laughs> and ended up double bogey. Little Garrett Clark, shout out. <laughs> so, so I'm like, okay, don't make an ass of yourself. Get this on the green. I think I was hitting a nine iron again. 
get it on the green, two putt it, get out of here, right? Ended up hitting a gorgeous nine iron. I was like 10 feet from 130 or something. So I'm like, beautiful, let's, you know, and, and you know, this is kind of um, one of the best moments of the whole thing. The Max's dad was Max's caddy. And he drives past me, he looks at me, and he goes, enjoy this walk up. And so my dad handed me my putter. That's dope. And I have a video of me walking up, to, uh, you know, nice. King's fairway. And, and dude, honestly, like, I just, I, I let myself smile. Like, I wasn't trying to be I, acting like I'd, I'd done this before. I truly it embraced the moment. And, boys, like, that made everything worth it. Everything worth it. And yeah. so I'm walking up and, you know, people are clapping, people are doing whatever. And, and I just, I get up there and the moment ends, right? And I'm like, we got business to do, right? These people are watching you. These people are clapping for you. Do not three putt this. So I, I, um, I have a video of both putts, but I ended up, um, I was on a pretty, pretty hard slope and, um, but I was like 10 feet. Like, I'm like, this is makeable, right? And if you could go out with three straight birdies, you know, I'll remember that for a lifetime, even though I'm going to do it mm -hmm. anyway. And um, so I, I felt oh, yeah. pretty confident on the stroke, but it um, it ended up snapping pretty hard earlier than I thought it was going to. And then um, I had a little bit left of a par putt, probably three feet, knocked it in and, and you know, picked it up and took the hat off and whatever. But man, like just that walk up eighteen boys was so sick in in the fact of yeah. like you fucking made it, dude. And and you can finally let yourself kind of enjoy it. You know, and you still have a putt to make. But at the same time, like all that work, dude. Just like lighten up for a second and just look around and enjoy it. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I kind of kept yeah. tunnel vision the whole time because I, I had never played in front of people like that. And mm -hmm. to to finally kind of open my eyes and, and kind of see what I got myself to and what I accomplished. And for my first okay. ever tournament, man, it was just, it was so surreal to just, you know, finally get in with that four. And, and I was upset with two over. Like, come on, you know, like. Yeah. You know, let's let's bring it back to earth here. If if you had looked me in the eyes and told me, a, I'd make the cut, and b, I'd shoot a total of five over for three days, I'd laugh at you. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.